Hey yo everybody, Podchiles here. When playing Yomawari, did you sometimes come across some strange spirits and had no idea what was going on? Or are you having trouble finding some of the special collectible items? In this video, I want to share with you the special spirit encounters and special collectible items that they allow you to get in Yomawari Night Alone, and how to go about getting them. Please remember that most of the names that I use for the spirits in this video are not official, and keep in mind that all of this footage was taken after beating the story. Also, due to the orientation of the map, I'll be using the following reference directions. I will be covering each special spirit in no particular order, so sit tight and enjoy! The first and easiest spirit to encounter is the Blue Soul. The Blue Soul can be found by pressing the action button while facing the dent in the railing along the road north of home. The Blue Soul will then follow you and you will have a limited amount of time to guide it to the shrine just east of home. Trying to take the Blue Soul back to the shrine along the path you came will cause it to disappear, and you'll have to go back home in order to reset its spawn event, so it's important to take the path leading to the small alleyway between the road and home to get back to the shrine. Doing this will allow you to pick up a hard candy. Next up is the Shrine Slime. At the shrine northwest of home and southeast of the rice fields, you will be able to find a shrine with mini slimes that you can follow out onto the road going towards the vacant lot where the demon cat appears. When you reach the end of the mini slime trail, you will encounter the shrine slime, a large white blob that chases you very slowly. While it can't catch up to your walking pace, it's important that you do not let it touch you as it is lethal. Continuing past the shrine slime towards the stairs of the vacant lot will allow you to collect meat. Have you noticed that there are chickens roaming around Night Town? These chickens are actually lost and it's your job to find all five and return them to the chicken coop. There's one catch though, you need to get them all into the coop without dying, otherwise they'll all just respawn outside of the coop. Teleport to the southwesternmost shrine near the dead end and work your way from there. First collect the chicken near the dead end. You can collect the chicken by pressing the action button when you are close enough to it, so it's a good idea to corner it or pin it against a wall, but a good dash should be sufficient. Then continue north and along the road that branches out east to find the second chicken. Make sure you use sidewalks at all times to make things easier for you. Backtrack to the school shrine and lure out the eye mouth monsters to gain access to the third chicken. Alternatively, you can take the safer route around the back end of this alley, but it takes a bit longer. Now head into the school grounds and make your way to the park with the walking statue south of the pool. When entering the park, be very careful to walk around the chicken so that it doesn't dash into the smorgasbord of spirits that roam the park. Once you've done that, take all four chickens to the chicken coop. Then go back out the way you came and head towards the garden maze. Be careful not to make a noise while moving around in this area. Walking around should be good enough so as to not disturb the spirits there though. Navigate to the easternmost point of the maze to find the final chicken. You can collect the chicken here, but it would be much easier to escape the maze alive if you make the chicken run out of the maze first, as it usually pins itself against the building by the maze entrance. Take this chicken to the chicken coop to make the chicken egg spawn. If you've been downtown, you may have seen a girl with a bloody face wearing red overalls. This is Hanako, and she actually wants to play with you. Go to the southern downtown parking lot. When you find her, she will likely teleport to another spot for you to find her again. Eventually, she will start giggling, signaling that you have to chase her. To catch her, it's a good idea to pin her against a brick wall and then press the action button. After catching her, she will say, let's keep playing. This game will take place a few more times and you'll need to win each time. Eventually, catching her will cause her to say, thanks, and she'll drop an effigy doll for you to collect. This is actually a usable item you are not limited to one. Using it will cause another to spawn in the toy box at home. Let's do an easier one now. Heading northwest of home, you will come across an alleyway lined with tall, thin trees. Near these trees you will be able to find the Doodle Note. It is important to collect this so that the next event can trigger. If you already have the Doodle Note, there is no need to go looking for it again. Now, head back to the park and near the sandbox, you will be able to find a dull eyeball. This will trigger the Daruma spirit to spawn when trying to leave the park. Like Hanako, you need to play a game with Daruma involving moving and stopping and pressing the action button when close to Daruma with its back turns towards you. I prefer just dashing straight to Daruma after picking up the dull eyeball though. When you catch Daruma, you need to place the eyeball on his right eye. This will cause Daruma to disappear, leaving the one-eyed Daruma collectible behind. 
Remember the demonic cat that appears in the vacant lot west of the rice fields? It turns out that this is a random event. Look for a cat with white, orange, and black fur hanging around the stairs to the vacant lot. If it isn't there, you need to return home and check the stairs again. If it is, it will be a good idea to save by the shrine near the secret school entrance, just in case the demonic cat kills you. This is because when the demonic cat event triggers, returning home will cause it to reset. But respawning at a shrine will not. Run past the cat, distracting it with an effigy doll in order to collect the big bell, which is one of the only items that you can collect that does not initially spawn as a sparkle on the ground. Picking up the big bell will cause the demonic cat head to disappear. Next, the Headless Horseman. The Headless Horseman spawns on the road leading to the dead end northeast of home. When you see it, be sure to move out of its way and then go to a shrine and teleport to the shrine on the highway that leads to the tunnel. Then, head west towards the vacant lot where Sis disappears, and you may see the Headless Horseman come around and drop the human bone by the trees. At this point, it is still important to be careful to not make contact with the Horseman. If you do not see the horseman, it probably just dropped the bone and disappeared before you got there. In that case, you may need to walk past the vacant lot in order to cause the human bone to spawn by the same set of trees. Now onto the burning man by the incinerator. This special spirit and the item you get from bypassing the spirits are not exactly special, but this spirit is quite tricky to get past, so much so that I included it just in case. The Burning Man runs at a much faster speed than the main character ever could, so it is important to bring Salt with you in order to slow him down. Salt can be obtained as part of the story or as a rare drop from trash cans. You can use the Effigy Doll to distract the Burning Man, but it's only very shortly effective as he makes it burn to smithereens. It's best to lure him out past the incinerator, toss Salt at him, then dash cancel to the item behind the incinerator, which is puzzle piece too. Finally, the last special spirit that will be covered is Mary. You can find Mary by answering the phone in the eastern alleyway due south of the rice fields. Before leaving home, make sure that you have the effigy doll equipped and selected as your active usable item. Similar to the demonic cat, it is a good idea to save by the shrine before encountering Mary, as it is another random event. If you pick up the phone and you don't hear a response, or you hear static, you will have to go home and teleport back. Keep doing this and in due time, or if you're just plain lucky, Mary will answer the phone and attack you from behind. You need to immediately lose aggro by tossing the effigy doll at her and waiting for about 20 seconds. She will eventually disappear, leaving behind the Mary doll, the last of the special items. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you enjoy content like this. I release videos at least 3 times a week and I plan to release more Yomawari videos. So if this interests you, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. See ya!